So before you start throwing a bitch fit at me, I'm going to be away for most of the week. So I was going to record about five vlogs, do a bunch of cringe, you know. But I got this massive spot in between my eyebrows. And you know, it wouldn't be a big deal. But I'm a vain bastard, so it's like a baby growing out of my fucking head. And seeing as I still want to keep up with my daily videos, and I'm trying to stray away from doing just gameplay stuff, here's me talking over some gameplay. That makes sense. I hate my life. So today I'll be discussing the wondrous topic of catfishing. While this gameplay of Final Fantasy XIV, because my character's a cat, and I will be fishing right now, but I haven't got the fishing rod yet. Damn it, that would have been perfect. So I've been binge watching the hell out of catfish recently. If you don't know what catfish is, it's basically a guy who falls in love with some woman online. We've all been there, don't lie. The difference here being that, you know, he had her on Facebook, they used to talk on the phone, and all that stuff, but he never saw her on video. Anyway, spoiler alert. They go and visit her, and it's some like fat 50 year old weird chick with kids and a husband, and she's just proper weird. So basically, catfishing is when you pretend to be somebody else online. Like I am right now. I'm not actually Dexter Manning. I'm actually a 55-year-old white man. Every time you see my videos, I just get my son to do it for me. And then I dub over his lines. So in the TV show, the guy Neve and his friend Max, Neve was the guy who got catfished in the documentary. They help people with the same thing that's going on. So they go over and see the morons, and 90% of the time, they are not who they say they are. For example, a guy could be talking to a really hot chick, you know, who says she's a stripper, and they get there, and she's some 60-year-old woman with, like, really saggy tits so low they literally go down to the depths of hell. Or some guy that falls in love with some girl online. Line. It's actually some gay guy pretending to be, I don't even know, it's just, it's just weird, all right? The thing that really annoys me about this show is that when these morons finally get to the house and it's not who they say they are, they always say, oh, you betrayed my trust, I can't trust you, I don't want to be your friend anymore. Now, not all of them say this, some of them do admit, like, you know, you're just not, I'm not attracted to you, you're not what I'm after, blah, 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 which is completely understandable. But for the people who stand there going, oh, I don't trust you anymore, we can't be friends, I don't want to know you. Bullshit! Let's say, for example, there's a guy, Dave, and Dave falls in love with an online chick, she's brunette, she's got some nice clonkers. She's pretty, right? Then he shows up, and the woman that comes out is blonde, but she's actually harder than the person he thought he was talking to. But she's blonde and looks completely different. Now, I guarantee you, Dave here would not say, oh, you betrayed my trust, man. I can't talk to you. Bullshit. He'd let it slide in an instant. He'd be like, oh, whatever. She's still fit, man. I don't even care. She looks different. She is still fit. It legit all just comes down to looks. And it really annoys you when these people try and play it off like, oh, no, I wouldn't even care. The only reason these people talk to him is because they're really fit, if you know. That's how they're all like, oh, I'm a model. I'm a stripper. I'm this, I'm a successful whatever. Everyone's so materialistic. And that's a generalization, of course. Like, everybody is. And even when I do say that, it's not even a bad thing. It's fine to be materialistic. We're human. We want things that are nice. We want to look good. We want fancy cars. We want power. We want money. Like, why is that even a bad thing? Back to my point, though. I just hate it when the people say, oh, I can't trust you, man. Bollocks. I think I've only ever seen one episode where they legit didn't care about looks. They were both absolute monsters, don't get me wrong. And that's really harsh to say. You shouldn't judge people based on their appearance. But we're humans. That's what we do. We like beautiful things. That's why I love vodka so much. <laughs> but they were absolute Shreks. But they didn't care and they fell in love and as much as it was repulsive to watch on screen I was happy for them. In a strange way, and this may step on people's toes as well, which seems to be one of my biggest qualities recently. Just wear shoes or something. If you legit are somebody who doesn't care about looks you might be defective. <laughs> so harsh to say. But I'm just saying, it's human nature to be attracted to someone, to love beautiful things. If you literally have no sexual attraction to people, or you're just like, oh, I don't even care what they look like. I don't even care what genitals they have. And I don't mean the bisexual way, where you can like both. I mean like you legit just don't even care. They could literally have like a fucking fishbowl down there and you wouldn't care. That's not normal. But then again, everybody's not normal. Everyone's got some sort of weird thing going on. This is in terms of human nature. And when I say not normal, I mean just attraction in general. You can be bi, gay, I don't care, but you surely must find some sort of human attractive, you know? Did you know that our closest ape relatives are actually bisexual? I actually personally believe that humans are born without any sexual preference, and you just find out what you like along the way. Which is why I'm accepting of all genders and all sexualities. Within reason, that is. Pansexuals and all these hipster terms can get the fuck out of here. But if you don't find any sort of human attractive, from a human standpoint, that's just very odd. Or maybe you've transcended into a new natural being. Maybe you're superior. Maybe this is evolution at its finest. Humans not caring about gender. Maybe that's how we'll be in 20 years. We'll all be action men. We won't have any genitals. It'll just be a nice, smooth surface. Surface. Forgot what I was talking about now. <laughs> I guess my point is, looks matter. Looks are important. And you shouldn't even shame people because of it. People are like, oh, this guy's shallow. This guy's this. Why do people shallow shame, if you will? <laughs> Somebody just said that. Because at the end of the day, you want something beautiful. I guess if you're really ugly and an absolute monster, then your standards will be a bit lower, I guess. For example, I like tall girls. Pale, dark hair. That's my preference. Maybe you like blondes who are 500 pounds that live in sheds in the swamp. <laughs> I can't really relate to that, because I'd say I'm a pretty good-looking dude. I've been skinny most of my life. I put a bit of chub recently, but still pretty dandy. So I've never had any problem with that kind of stuff. God, I must sound like a right dick in this video. But it's the truth, though. I'm just telling you how it is. People don't like the truth. I don't know why. I think the truth is the best. There's nothing better than the truth. Well, maybe Cinnabon, but that's about it. So all in all, looks is everything, for the most part. Don't fucking kid yourselves. And if you are ugly, don't worry about it. That's why makeup was invented. <sighs>
I'll try to make a valid point here and just come across like an absolute dick. Oh well.